there. <laughs> Choked it. Well, you said you wanted to demonstrate to the folks how good the AA plastic swim baits work. Well, you know That's we, what we're trying to do. I know, man. We were we were giving them to try out. <laughs> say, hey guys, what do you think of these new A and A swim baits with this new design? What do you think of it? I like them. Yeah, they are awesome. Yeah, you know the biggest deal that we're seeing right now is the ability to slow roll it. Yes. These things with a three eighths ounce and a half ounce head. We can crawl it, and I believe, aren't you using a five to one reel? Yes. Five to one reel, slow rolling it, and getting maximum action in shallow water, and it's why he's putting a hurting on them. I might have to get me a five to one reel. <laughs> yeah, one of the greatest attributes to this bait wow. right here is how skinny the neck is right before the tail is, and that allows at a slow tempo for that tail to wobble, and it's so important. I mean, there's some days where you can fish these things pretty quick. You know, today, they want it really slow. Yeah, wow. And the, as, as slow as I, I'm just barely keeping that thing off the bottom in seven, eight feet of water, and I know, because I've seen this thing in a slow tempo, that that tail's working for me. Yeah, phenomenal. Critical. And, and it is, it's a part of their new design. It's pretty cool. A lot of times when I'm throwing the double A shad, pearl is my favorite color for the most part day in and day out. But there's times when you're going in and out of that stained or dingy water and a little bit of chartreuse flapping around back there can be the perfect accent. So I've always got a little bit of color with me. I'll dab that tail. I've got some that are pure pearl and then there's nothing wrong with enhancing that tail with a little bit of chartreuse. That's that double A. <laughs> That's that double A shad right there, buddy. I just put that chartreuse yes, tail on there. Yes, you did. That, you saw that stained water. You picked up on that quick, didn't you? <laughs> guys that, uh, guys, nice. that, guys that like, guys that like to fish for whether it's whether it's stripers, largemouth, whatever it may be. That. That double A shad is just a fantastic thing. Well, she ate that old double A too. <laughs> that oh, she freaking. Look at that sucker. He's gone. <laughs> she chewed that up. That is gone. gone. <laughs> I tell you, those little, those little double A swim baits. That thing right there, just for getting bites. I, I mean, I use them in tournaments sometimes that for is... largemouth, but as a striper bait and all that. I mean, money. Yeah, not much better. You get another one? I'm throwing in there. You can take that one off. <laughs> I think I got. I think I got one. Well, that's the same one. Boy, that one scooped it too. Easy, girl. Easy. That's the same one. Settle down. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, get out of my way. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong species. That's a penalty. <laughs> that's a Mogambo squawfish right there. Holy cow. That is a big one. I think that's the biggest squawfish I've caught, bud. <laughs> oh. Did you get another one? Yeah. 
I think there's a couple of fish right here. You're, you you want to drop? Uh, yeah, I got the point. I got it. I got it. I already know where this was going. I already know where this was going. I'll get out of your way. Oh, they're getting bigger. <laughs> Come here, you. Come here, you. Settle down. They're getting bigger. Double A swim baits, baby. And dip the tail in some chartreuse. Woo! That's awesome. When rigging my double A shad tail, I grab a 3 8 or a half ounce head. Grab your double A plastic. Get you some glue. Just a little bit. And the most important thing is that you rig this thing so that it's perfectly straight. If the hook is coming off to the side or you're off center, your bait's gonna swim to the side. You won't get near the bites. So we're gonna, we're gonna put the hook point directly down the middle, just like that. And then I'm gonna go in about an inch, inch and a quarter. I'm gonna pop the hook through and I'm gonna continue to push that bait right up there. And I am perfectly straight right there. And that thing's gonna run perfect. That was awesome, man. <laughs> Yeah, that one's got a little bit of back to her. Yeah. Come here, you. Come here, you. That was pretty cool. Oh. That double-A shad tail. You better get you some. That's awesome. What a beautiful fish. I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, tips and tricks from Fish Delta TV. Today, Bobby, we got to play with the A and A shad or shad tails. Awesome bait. I mean, nine different sizes from two inch to nine inch, 42 different colors. It's a complete match the hatch bait. And I know we played with it today. You want to show them your Alabama rig? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, you know, it, it's not only can you rig that double-A plastic as a standard swim bait on a lead head, but you can, it's also a fantastic bait. I, you know, I've been putting it on my Alabama rigs, A rigs, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this one's rainbow trout. But like you say, they got 42 different colors. If you have gizzard shad in your lake, if you have threadfin shad, uh, blueback herring, if you're in South Carolina, they've got a bait that will match the hatch in the lake that or river system that you're fishing and you know double a plastics i mean they've been making baits for 30 years so they've had a lot of practice at it and this new bait um, you can tell that they paid attention to a lot of the detail the, the biggest key to swim bait fishing is the tail the tail is the whole trick and they have got that bait so fine-tuned now to where at the slow tempo like today the fish stayed a little bit deeper they were there, but we could not buzz that thing over the top of them right. at the standard retrieve. We had right. to slow it way down. But because I know that that bait, I've seen it visually, slow tempo, fast tempo, even at the slow tempo like that right there, on a five two to one gear ratio reel, that, that bait's just moving through the water and you know that that tail is working for you. It's putting off that vibration in the water that those fish will hone in on. And that, that was the exact bait that we needed to get it done today. And I've, you know, I've been playing with that a little bit uh, leading up to this segment. And uh, there's some days where the fish are a little more aggressive and I'm fishing, I fish it at all the different tempos that, you, that, that you're gonna fish as a, as a fisherman. And it works at all different speeds, all different water columns. And it, it's good, it's good, but great bait. It's interesting that you locked in on that tail and the ability to go slow because that is what a and took on this new design. They slendered down the body and then that put more water to the tail and they made it, it's a complete hand poured bait, 
they worked on the tail to allow you to put, like you comment, an eighth ounce head, a quarter ounce head, and bring it over that grass at that really slow cadence, and it is the key in getting bit. And they did spend money, and they did spend time on making these hand pours the perfect swim bait to throw I, behind the I head. believe they make those things about one at a time. <laughs> yeah, one, <laughs> one at a time hand pour. Yeah. The other thing they did That's on this amazing. design that I want to point out is they put a scale pattern on it. Yeah. You notice it's not a smooth pattern. Mm -hmm. Now their promotion there is, is that that scale pattern, not only for the more realistic look, but it's also a scent trap. For those of you who like to use scent on your swim baits, these little pockets designed into the mold allow that scent to trap in those little pockets Perfect swim that I will Absolute perfect swim I bait. will definitely play with that, you know, December, January, February, when I really, I fish it at the tempo that we did today. And, you know, the water, some, I go in clear water, I go in stained water. And I know those fish are there, and there's sometimes just that, that standard. I will definitely do that. I will load those up with some scent, and I'll see. Cool. I, I will get back to you guys on that and let you know whether that worked for me or not. Guys, look for AA shads in your local tackle store. Again, nine, si nine different sizes, 42 different colors. Jump on www.optimumbaits.com. It'll have all of the variety of colors uh, that you can go through, you can look through. Pick the one that matches the hat, pick the, si pick the size that matches the hat, and let your local tackle store know that you want them in stock. I guarantee you will not be disappointed and uh, it will put big fish in your live well. I agree. <laughs>